breaking news, a well-known and well-respected leaker by the name of Pioro has confirmed the existence of a new Pokemon game set in Unova. We'll get into exactly what Pioro said later, but first... And uh, yeah, I know the first question is always going to be, is this the Pokemon game that's being released in 2024? And the answer is maybe? Let's set up a quick timeline. 2024, this year, there are currently no Pokemon projects that we know about. 2025 will likely be the release of Generation 10, and 2026 will likely be the release of Generation 10's DLC. Pioro doesn't go into much detail, uh, they don't explain if the game is currently in development, but I'd bet the two most likely years for this game to be released are 2024 or 2027. And I know that's a really big gap, but I'm, I'm doing my best here, man. Although there is a possibility that Game Freak delayed Generation 10 by one year, this would give more time to polish the game, but also allow them to release it in 2026, which is Pokemon's 30 year anniversary. In this new revised timeline, of course, 2026 is the release of Generation 10, 2027 is the DLC, which would leave either 2024 or 2025 for this Pokemon game to be released. To go over what Puro says specifically, the tweet reads, I don't know anything about the Pokemon Presents, but I heard of an outsourced Unova-related game. The info was from last year, so it may turn out to be inaccurate. This is not a leak and should be taken with a grain of salt. I'm just sharing something I'm aware of. So I would definitely recommend not getting too excited, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a bit excited. They also state that they don't think this information is worth reporting and that they're willing to take the L if it ends up being wrong. I know it's obvious, but if it is wrong, it's not Pioro's fault. They've clarified a thousand times, but I still want to talk about this as if it is real. Of course, an important word to take note of is outsourced which means Game Freak won't be developing it. I imagine like a very scary horror theme playing right now, because uh, the game is most likely being developed by Ilka. The most likely explanation for this game could be would be a remake of Pokemon Black and White. Of course, the Generation 4 remakes were developed by Ilka, so it would make sense for them to develop the Generation 5 remakes. I think it's worth giving Ilka a chance. I, I think they really have the opportunity to make a really good Pokemon game here. Of course, there are a lot of issues with BDSP. Uh, I mean, it was made in Unity. It looked ugly as hell. Game Freak uh, apparently were rushing them, I've heard, although I've not seen any official, official sources on that. I think as long as Ilka and Game Freak properly receive the feedback they've been given, they could make a really, really good game here. And another obvious question is, what are they going to do with the content from Black 2 and White 2. This is where the rumor that Black 3 and White 3 would be released came from. People are like, okay, oh, they, they can't make a remake, so surely they're just gonna make a sequel. Uh, there's really no way of telling. But if you want to know as soon as possible, I would really consider subscribing and turning on notifications if I were you. Because there is huge Pokemon news right around the corner and I'll be updating you on it as soon as possible right here on this channel.